Welcome back everyone. In our previous video, we have studied about the efforts made by different scientists like Dobriner, Newland and Mendeleev. They all try to simplify the study of elements by classifying them. One thing which was common in all three of them, they all try to arrange elements on the basis of their atomic masses. And at that time, only protons were discovered and there were no neutrons. So at that time, it was considered that mass of an atom is due to the mass of the protons only. Means atomic mass is the mass of protons. But in 1932, when J. Cadwick discovered the neutrons, whole of the concept was suddenly changed. Because now we knew that atomic mass is not the mass of protons only, but it is the mass of the protons as well as the neutrons as both of them are present inside the nucleus. So with this, our whole understanding about the atom changed. Now, a new term was coined, which was atomic number. So now we knew that atomic mass is mass of protons and neutrons, but atomic number is the number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom. Then Henry Mosley, while he was doing some study on the frequency of X-rays, he found that atomic number is a better fundamental property than atomic mass, which means that if we want to differentiate one atom from the other, they can be differentiated in a better manner using the atomic number than using the atomic mass. And he also suggested that atomic number should be the basis of classification of elements. Henry Mosley, along with some other scientists like Bohor and Bury, gave modern periodic table. This is the modern periodic table in which elements are arranged in the order of their increasing atomic numbers. And the Mendeleev's periodic law changed into modern periodic law. According to modern periodic law, physical and chemical properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic numbers. Means if we arrange elements according to their increasing atomic numbers, then properties will be repeated after regular intervals and this repetition of the properties is called as periodicity of the properties. Now, according to modern periodic law, that is, if we arrange elements according to their atomic numbers, we can easily find the cause of the periodicity. And the cause is the repetition of the outer electronic configuration after certain regular intervals. So let's see the elements of group 1 that is lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium. If we write their electronic configuration, we see that they have similar outer electronic configuration. All of them have same number of valence electrons. So this similarity in the outer electronic configuration give rise to the similar properties of all the elements which are present in one group. Modern periodic table is also called as long form of periodic table. And we know that in this elements are arranged according to their increasing atomic numbers. It has 18 groups and 7 periods. From 1 to 18, these vertical columns, these are the groups. And from 1 to 7, these horizontal rows are called as periods. Let us see the elements of group number 1. First element hydrogen has atomic number 1, next has atomic number 3, next has 11. So we can see that atomic numbers are not consecutive in the elements of a group. While if we see the atomic numbers of elements along a period, the 19, 20, 21, 22, so they are all consecutive atomic numbers. So this is one of the characteristics of a group and a period. You can go through all the characteristics and by the end of this video, you will understand all of them. We will see the periodic table now once again. In period number 1, there is hydrogen and helium, just two elements. In period number 2, there is lithium, then second beryllium, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth element is neon. So total 8 elements are present in period number 2 and period number 3 also we can see there are total of 8 elements. In period number 4, there are 18 elements. Period number 5 also there are 18 elements. Period number 6. First element is cesium, then barium, then lanthanum and then hafnium. 
lanthanum has atomic number 57 and hafnium has 72 and in between 14 elements they are placed below the periodic table all these elements together they are called as lanthanides similarly in period number 7 also after actinium there is rutherfordium and in between the 14 elements are placed below and these are all called as actinides in first period we have seen there are total of two elements so it is called as the shortest period period number two and three have eight elements each these are called as short periods Period number 4 and 5 with 18 elements each are called as long periods. Period number 6 with 32 elements is called as the longest period. And period number 7 has slightly less than 32 elements. It is called as incomplete period. Now these numbers which represent the number of elements in a period that is 2, 8, 8, 18, 18, 32. These numbers are called as magic numbers. So let's see what is magic about them. Now these numbers are called as magic numbers because the properties of elements are repeated after these numbers. So let's see how. Now this is hydrogen with atomic number 1. If we add the first magic number that is 2, 1 plus 2 will be 3. So 3 is the atomic number of lithium which will have properties same as hydrogen. If we add second magic number 8 in lithium, it becomes 11. So it is the next element which will have the same properties. On adding 8, we get potassium which is 19 atomic number with similar properties. Then we add the next magic number that is 18. Then rubidium with similar properties. So after these numbers, properties of elements will be repeated. We can see the group number 2 also. Beryllium, on adding 8, we get magnesium. On adding 8, we get calcium. On adding 18, we get strontium. And all these have similar properties. So apart from the numbers which show the similar chemical properties, magic numbers also help us to calculate the atomic number of an element accurately. Only if we know the atomic number of the first element in a group, we can calculate the atomic numbers of all the elements. Let's see the example of group 1 once again. Hydrogen, if we add 2, we get the atomic number of lithium. If we add 8, we get the atomic number of sodium. On adding 8, we get the atomic number of potassium which is 19. On adding next magic number which is 18, we get the atomic number of rubidium. Further adding 18, we get the atomic number of cesium and then if we add 32, we get the atomic number of francium which is 87. So this rule can be applied to all the elements. Let's calculate the atomic numbers of group 18 also. If we add 8 in the atomic number of helium, we get 10 atomic number of neon. Further add 8, we get 18. Next atomic number of argon. Further add 18. Atomic number of krypton is 36. Add 18. 54 is the atomic number of xenon. Now we will add 32 to get the atomic number 86. Further 32 to get the atomic number 118. We can classify this periodic table broadly into four categories. Now these four categories are made on the basis of their electronic configuration. We know that electrons are present around the nucleus in different shells. And in higher classes we will come to know that these shells have subshells also. So there can be four types of subshells S, P, D and F. And on this basis periodic table is classified into these four categories. Group 1 and group 2 elements are called as S block elements. Then from group 13 to group 18, these are called as P block elements. In between elements from 3 to 12 groups, they are called as D block elements. And those elements which we studied lanthanides and actinides, these are called as F block elements. So this is the broad classification of all the elements of the periodic table. We also have given names to different groups. For example, elements of group number 1 are called as alkali metals. Now these are called as alkali metals because they combine with water to form alkalis. Group 2 elements, they are called as alkaline earth metals because they are found in the earth's crust 
that is why this name alkaline earth metals now come to group 17 elements which are called as halogens halogen means salt forming so these elements combine with metals to form salts like common salt so these fluorine chlorine bromine iodine acetone they are called as halogens group 18 elements are called as noble gases or inert gases because we know that they are highly stable and totally inert do not react with anything else there are few other groups which are named after the first element present in the group for example group 13 elements they all belong to boron family group 14 elements belong to carbon family group 15 to nitrogen family and group 16 belongs to oxygen family modern periodic table was able to remove many limitations which were present in the mendeleev's periodic table first of all it is very easy to remember and reproduce because it is based on atomic numbers which increase in a serial order atomic number represents the number of protons present in an atom and which are always equal to the number of electrons which means that atomic number is linked with the electronic configuration if we know the atomic number of an element we know the electronic configuration and it means we know the properties also we can easily predict the properties in mendeleev's table position of isotopes was not justified because it was based on atomic masses and isotopes have different masses but all isotopes have same atomic number means carbon 12 or carbon 14 will have the atomic number 6 only so this problem was automatically solved in mendeleev's table there was anomalous position of some elements means some elements with higher mass were placed before the elements with the lower atomic mass but this problem was justified itself when they were arranged according to atomic number because argon has mass more than potassium but its atomic number is less than potassium so this problem was also automatically resolved in mendeleev's table there was uncertainty in the prediction of new elements because atomic masses do not increase in the order in the serial order but atomic numbers are continuous and they increase in the serial order so we definitely know that between the two known elements how many more elements can be discovered so these are the five advantages of the modern periodic table modern periodic table has few disadvantages also first one is the anomalous or the controversial position of hydrogen just like mendeleev's periodic table position of hydrogen is still controversial because it is placed in group 1 hydrogen is a non metal and rest all the elements of group 1 they are the metals so its position is still not justified lanthanoids and actinoids they could not find place in the periodic table but are placed separately below the periodic table so this is also considered one of the limitations of the modern periodic table this is all about the basic features of the modern periodic table rest we will continue in the next video thank you